Hi peeps, Hillbilly Half with you. How are you all today? I can't do a sit down video today. I showed that one earlier and Catherine Jones asked for somebody to send in a video uh, to say things. And I saw, I thought I'd send one in yesterday to Facebook and fair play to the guy. He shared it last night. Very impressed because I know, you know, I've had run-ins with a few YouTubers because I say what I think. But that very impre really impressed me. Just want to say thank you very much, Gareth. I know we can't agree on everything, but we agree on most things. Uh, I'm really sticking up the farming community like you are. You've got a bigger platform than me, and thank you for sharing it. Um, I just want to tell you a few things about what's happening to my channel a bit. I know people don't really understand how much censorship I get. That video I put up yesterday... Uh, the monetization got took off uh, later in the afternoon. So that's why I changed the, the thumbnail of it in the end, because it didn't make any difference. So it shows. I even used their own data, and they still... <laughs> it's very hard for me to get my stuff seen on here. Now, when, when a video does take off, uh, it's usually because it's a certain section I've seen it, <coughs> about something a bit controversial and then it gets shut down like a stone which other channels don't get this um, all my ads are limited ads pretty much and uh, if I put a video up pretty much 80% of them are manually checked before they go up and just a guy like me look I bought a new ad today as well look Welsh ad so, um, yeah, why do they bother about a little guy like me? I don't understand. I don't make any money out of this. I do it for the pure uh, in enjoyment, really, originally, and just because it was a hobby. And now I just do it for to help the farming community. In case somebody thinks I make loads of money out of this, I don't. Uh, since I shared that video, I told you a while back, I'm sending you to Dan Mutton's video. Basically, my channel's gone. Boom, everything's been switched off. No subscribers. No money or anything, really. Just basic since then. You can see it on the analytics. So, but I don't care as long as the message gets out. And thank you all for subscribing and uh, sharing and commenting. Because like I tell you, that is the fun for me. Really, because it's nice interacting with everybody. I'm just a normal guy, just a normal guy, like you, like you, <coughs> with a chest infection, I think, at the moment. I'm just a normal guy, uh, like you people out there. Uh, not got a lot of money. I'm happy as Larry because I enjoy life. I make sure I'm a glass half full person after having a battle with a bit of depression many years ago when I started this channel. Now... I suppose I could talk about that a bit for a few minutes. I see a lot of people these days, especially blokes, tend to be getting very depressed. They put themselves under a lot of pressure, especially in the farming community, because in the farming community, the farming press only push the people forward in huge debt. And they have trying to make, they've made this position where young farmers either feel they're inadequate if they haven't got huge debt riding around in a brand new truck or a brand new tractor. Things don't need to be like that. That is just a narrative people are spreading. That's why they're only spreading certain YouTubers about there, because they want this thing to be out there. You have to have this, you have to have that. You don't. There's another way. You don't need to have this massive debt. Now, debt brings you... Lots of people can manage it, but there's a big percentage of people who can't. So... You can make a decision to do like I've done and slow your life down and learn to live off less money. And I think that's a good thing. But if you're having problems with depression, here's my top tips. Because I was as bad as I could get one turn. For about two weeks, I was in a really dire situation. And I actually went off to see the doctor. This was about my eyesight because... As most of you know, I'm losing my eyesight still. And um, I went off to see the doctor 
And I remember sitting down with him. He didn't say a lot. Just said, what is wrong with you? And I basically burst out crying in the doctor's surgery. For about five minutes. I'm not ashamed to say it. Because it was a turning point in my life. You know, very nice chap. Um, so... I went home that day and halfway up my drive, I burst out crying again. I was in a dire state. Just this medical problem had got the better of me. And um, I just remember from then on, that's when my life changed. I decided I was going to be happy. I, I started writing a diary, a daily diary. I'd always done it before for work things but I started writing down my thoughts on a piece of paper and then you close that page and that is done with just move on to the next day that's how I live my life now I'm a very happy person glass half full I take no shit off anybody mind I will not take any shit off anybody uh, I'm a really nice guy until you you go you start uh, trying too much of me you'll see I'm a nice guy and I, until a certain point. Now, um, if you've got bad depression like that, I would suggest a diary. Try to live a bit in the moment. That's how I live now. I don't look much past a week. Because there's no point you could get run over tomorrow. The way I look at it, you could go out tomorrow or today and get run over by a car. That's what life is like. So, don't take yourself too seriously. I do this channel, people think, uh, what's called? I'm just trying to do this to help the farming community. That's all. It's nothing about anything else whatsoever. Money, I don't really care if I've got money or haven't. It's nice to have a bit of it. But because I've learned to live off less now, that doesn't rule my life. But I see lots of people who are in financial trouble in the farming community because of policies they've been told to, to follow. And then the policy had been changed. Now, as a young farmer now, the only way forward in the farming press and what they're telling you is to go up to your eyeballs in debt. That's not good for mental health, people. So um, I know we've gone to a few things here today, but them are my top tips. Get a diary, glass half full. Always look at when you get up every morning, decide to be a happy person, not a sad person. Doesn't matter what's happening, you can be a happy person. Still doesn't mean you, you can't look at things and uh, get in a mood sometimes. We all do that. But you get out of it quicker. Don't hate anybody. I don't hate anybody in the world at all. I disagree with some of them, but I don't hate anybody. So if you're in a bad way, go and see the doctor and have a chat with somebody and then try to change your life a bit like I said in the, the, my tips on here and I was as bad as you could get there for a few weeks so I'm not afraid to tell anybody I got no secrets from anybody I got nothing to hide because I learned then at that same moment that people make things up about you anyway so you may as well just say what you think anyway that's why I look at it get the truth out there nothing to hide it's come from yourself, isn't it? So, please comment, rate and subscribe because I love uh, interacting with everybody. And, God, do you think we're ever going to get to 10,000? Because it's slowed down now. Because, uh, as I say, they've put the brakes on me. Hopefully, by Christmas time, we might get to nine anyway. With a bit of luck. So, cross fingers. Ta-da. All the best. Gaz.